Let us search some CRO in which problem is in vertical stage. And you can analyze the fault in similar way as in case of horizontal stage. But there is a slight difference. In the horizontal stage, we generate sawtooth. But in case of vertical stage, we analyze the signal being fed in the input of CRO. Here in this oscilloscope, there is a restricted movement of beam in vertical direction. This means there is some problem in vertical stage. And let us see the block diagram to find out the problem in vertical stage. It is vertical stage in the block diagram. The input signal is fed at the input of CRO and it is amplified or attenuated here in this stage and finally goes to Y amplifier stage. And from Y amplifier stage, the signal goes to vertical plates. Since the movement of the beam is restricted only one half the vertical stage. It means there is some problem in vertical output stage. You may use the good multimeter to detect the defective components. And sometimes the transistors are DC coupled and to find out faulty resistance or faulty transistor it is better to use the technique of DC coupled method. In DC coupled transistor make a chart and note down the readings of all transistor which are in DC coupled mode. Take the readings of emitter, base and collector of all transistor and see which transistor is misbehaving either at the junction of emitter base for which the potential difference of 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 volt in case of silicon transistor and 0.2 to 0.3 volt in case of germanium transistor. If this voltage is differing somewhere, it means possibility of faulty component. Here in this oscilloscope, we see that this transistor is misbehaving as per our chart. Let us check this transistor by multimeter. Yes, one of the junction is open and replace it by new one. We have replaced the faulty transistor. Let us check this oscilloscope once again.
Yes, movement is on both sides, means problem is solved. To find out the problem in vertical stage, consult your service manual. Sometime vertical amplifier is also called Y amplifier. Therefore, do not confuse with it. As the beam is not coming down in the CRO because of the vertical problem, you check this vertical shift potentiometer. Sometime this vertical shift potentiometer becomes open and use good multimeter to check it. In case any position in time division or ball division is non-operative. The problem is purely of the band switch contact and it is created because of the movements in the band switch and any loose fitting may create this problem. And let us see here in this CRO. The ball division and the time division switches are in front of CRO and their corresponding band switches are here and watch them properly. <coughs> Here, I am moving a switch and watch properly. Because of the loose fitting, the whole of the switch is shaking. And this results either in contact problem or some breakage of wire. And you have to search it. Watch this band switch. Because of the movement, some of the contact may become discontinued. To correct this problem, watch this band switch either by carbonate tocolite or by alcohol and which is the only remedy because of loose fitting of band switch and continuous movement may give some wire broken and that you can get with the help of multimeter or by visual inspection. So, during fitting, take care that all band switches are tightly fitted. To search the problem in triggering area, one has to understand the working principle of wave shaping. In this area, you have to search the path of waves and their type. In this area, problem may be less in circuit section, but may be more in band switches. As so many band switches are involved, such as line triggering, external triggering, different mode selections, so one has to give more emphasis on switches. Here, these are the trigger switches. And count how many are. These switches may create contact problem here. To remove the contact problem, Put the band switch cleaning oil to get the contact clear. If necessary, remove them and replace by new one. 
if there is any problem in circuit section or the triggering portion, you have to use good oscilloscope to trace the path of pulse. In this circuit diagram, it is circuit diagram of horizontal stage in which this portion is triggering area, this portion is time based generator or switch generator and this is horizontal output stage. Since signal from triggering area is triggering the sweep section. Therefore, follow the path of signal from input up to trigger stage. Use another good oscilloscope and trace the path of triggering signal and see stage wise and watch properly where the signal is available where not available or where anywhere they started. That will give you idea about faulty stage. And the searching of fault in triggering area is based on only wave analysis. So oscilloscope is your best friend to search the fault either in triggering area or in time based generation area. To search the problem in triggering area, you will notice that the fault in circuitry are less, but switches are headache for you. Therefore, use your intelligence. Here in this oscilloscope, now the problem is in vertical stage. Let us first see the problem, then give analysis where is this fault in vertical stage. Here. The movement of beam or shift of the beam is limited up to half distance. Let us discuss in block diagram to analyze this fault. Here in block diagram, it is vertical stage. And vertical stage has also three parts. The part one, it is input selection or maybe Preamplifier including bolts per division. This is the amplifier stage for input signal. And this is the output stage, sometimes it is called Y output amplifier. It is well clear from the black diagram that the fault lies somewhere in output stage because the problem is only of the vertical shift and since no signal has been fed to oscilloscope it means we have to search the fault only in output stage. Let us see the output stage of this oscilloscope in detail. It is the circuit diagram of the vertical stage. And here in vertical stage, this connection is going to one plate and this connection is going to another plate of the CRT in vertical stage. It is well clear from the fault that the movement of the beam is restricted only lower portion of the CRT it means either this amplifier 
or this amplifier is defective. Since all these transistors are DC coupled, therefore to analyze the fault, you adopt the same method as adapted in case of finding the fault in which case the transistors are DC coupled means make a chart and note down the readings of all these transistors and their corresponding emitter base collector voltages and analyze whether any of the junction of emitter to base is open or collector to emitter is short. Here in oscilloscope these are two connections of Y plates coming from these amplifiers. Let us see which one of the amplifier is working and which is dead. And you can check by multimeter. Yes. This amplifier working means plate has the voltage. Well, this amplifier is not working. Means no voltage is going to Y plate at this terminal. Here, these are two terminals of Y plate and coming from corresponding amplifier transistors. One of the stage is defective. Corresponding to defective plate, these are four transistors, one, two, three, and four. They are DC coupled as per circuit diagram. Therefore, take the readings of emitter base collectors of all these transistors and put in your chart. Here in circuit diagram, corresponding to defective plate voltage, these are four transistors in DC coupled, whose emitter base collector voltages we have taken and according to chart the emitter base voltage difference of 0.6 volt is not maintained at this transistor which seems to be defective Transistor is here, it is to be removed. Now let us remove this transistor. Let us test it by multimeter. Let us check this transistor by multimeter. Yes, one of the junction is open and replace it by new one. We have replaced the faulty transistor. Let us check this oscilloscope once again. Yes, movement is on both sides, means problem is solved. Sometime we land in trouble in certain oscilloscope 
that the movement of beam is perfectly all right. But there is no signal display when it is given to input stage. And such oscilloscope is here. Let us feed signal to this oscilloscope and check it. Switch on oscilloscope and feed any signal. Yes, beam is here, but there is no signal display. As the movement of beam is perfectly all right. And there is no signal display on the CRT screen. It shows that Lafar lies somewhere in vertical input stage or in vertical amplifier stage. Let us check why the defect. Since we are measuring the signal, it means we need good oscilloscope to detect the fault. It is circuit diagram of Y amplifier stage in which it is pre-amplifier, this is the amplifier stage and it is Y output stage. Since Y shift potentiometer is here and it is working perfectly all right means far light somewhere on this side. Let us concentrate on this area. Here it is pre-amplifier stage and it is amplifier stage. Let us use the good multimeter and see the discontinuity of the signal because signal is not displayed on the CRT screen. Let us find out the vertical stage in this CRO. It is the input which is going to this area. It means it is your preamplifier stage. Let us first check the pre-amplifier stage using another oscilloscope. Use your probe to detect signal. And now let us check this oscilloscope. Let us see this signal output at preamplifier. No, the signal is not available here, means preamplifier seems to be defective. And in preamplifier, this tube has been used. So replace this tube and check once again. Let us remove this tube. And replace it by new one. Replace by new ECC 83 tube. Let us check the output of preamplifier stage. Yes, output is available. As here in this arrow, quite 
ओके बेब सेब इस मीन प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व लेटस सी दिस सीआरटी ऑफ दिस हॉस्पोस्कोप विच इज अंडर मेंटेनेंस लेटस चेक द आउटपुट ऑफ द प्री एम्पलीफायर स्टेज यस इट इज अवेलेबल हियर इट मीन्स दिस ट्यूब वॉज डिफेक्टिव it is quite clear from the signal the state is perfectly all right yes let us check the signal on this crt screen of the defective oscilloscope Yes, this CRT screen is also showing the wave shape. It means the problem of oscilloscope in Y amplifier stage is solved. Similar way, one can find out the problem in vertical stage using multimeter by the way of signal tracing. The Y amplifier stage is based on the signal sometime in oscilloscopes you see the beam rotation problem let us watch the crt screens of these two oscilloscopes here in this oscilloscope beam seems to be normal as a horizontal one let us come to this oscilloscope here beam seems which is slightly rotated watch properly let us study how to correct the rotation of beam the oscilloscope have the different ways of correcting the beam rotation some oscilloscope have the electronics and some have only the mechanical in mechanical you have to rotate the crt itself by hand this oscilloscope has the electronics rotating arrangement for beam and you can rotate from here see watch once again and the electronic circuitry to rotate the beam is here and this is corresponding circuit here in this oscilloscope there is no such electronic beam rotation arrangement nowhere therefore to rotate the beam is the only way by the mechanical way and you have to rotate the beam by hand to rotate the beam mechanically you simply take out this screw from here and remove the seal cover the tube will be visible and you can rotate the tube by hand seeing the beam on crt screen sometime you are very much puzzled coming in a situation when you switch on the cro you do not get anything but as soon as you switch off the cro you get a spark for a moment to understand this problem let us see the block diagram in the block diagram here is the output stage and since when you switch off the cro you get momentarily a spot and region may be the y amplifier stage or horizontal 
output stage may be creating this problem. 